So chapter nine, introduction to filters, plugin, external tools. Um, so once again, I, I'm not going to dive um, in those um, in, on, in all those tools. They each will need separate tutorials to to really uh, show you the the power of the tools and uh, how I use it. But uh, uh, I want to mention first that if you if you bought the um, the bundle. You probably probably have uh, this uh, tutorial already in here, which is um, a tutorial where I'm I'm really covering in great details how uh, how I turn my uh, 3D and photo bashes into paintings in real time. So I'm going to really comment um, about the thought process and uh, and the different tools and uh, why I use them and uh, and and why at the end the tools doesn't really matter because you can apply this kind of uh, of process to absolutely um, any any uh, any tool this is just about having a source and uh, applying a bunch of filters on top of it to get uh, some some cool and pay, and painterly results that you can later on uh, use as i shown to you um, to paint into a mask and apply these uh, these textures uh, wherever you want so i strongly if you if you have the time and just just check this tutorial uh, and hopefully you you already have it uh, in a, in the in the in the bundle uh, so see, this is the the tools that you'll see me using uh, in the full lens process um, this is a, a graphic synthesizer and uh, basically it takes an input and uh, apply various of a of a synthesizing methods on top of it and uh, create an output so um, it has a, a whole lot of grid presets to obtain painterly textures and this is uh, my, my main uh, tool at the moment uh, i use uh, some other ones but in these tutorials i i wanted to to use as, as few tools as possible so i i really try to stick with this one which is very fine enough um, the other filters that I use quite often because it's it's really cheap, uh, easy to acquire, and uh, it does a really great job. It is a Topaz Simplify by a Topaz Labs, and they have a lot of uh, really uh, cool filters that you can check. But I would say the two most useful of them for the purpose of turning uh, high resolution, high details image, high frequency details image, I would say, into uh, simplified uh, textures is topaz simplify and uh, topaz clean these are the, the, the two the two filters that i mainly use from them and uh, they are great they are super fast to render uh, they give uh, great results obviously as i'm pointing in my tutorials it's it's kind of pointless to try to apply them just as they are uh, your result will look very procedural and uh, and very cheap, but uh, combined together with uh, a bit of hand painting and uh, using various uh, filters, you can really have uh, great results. So, Topaz Simplify and Topaz Clean. Great, uh, great tools. Another very interesting tool, which is um, a bit uh, more expensive, but it gives also very great results is a um, snap art from uh, alien skin um, and uh, it, it's it's really great to have uh, uh, very textured results and also it process extremely fast uh, once again it's not really the kind of uh, tools that you can use just like that out of the box you see if anyone experienced enough see that you are going immediately to spot that uh, this image is uh, procedurally generated. But uh, once again, inside the inside layer with a, a mask on top of it, uh, where you only reveal the parts that you want to, you can really create uh, super cool uh, painterly textures thanks to, to that software. It has a, a lot of very, uh, very efficient um, uh, presets already built in. Uh, so, if you if you have the the money for it, I would say it's it is kind of the 
all in one tool. If if I had to suggest only one tool for generate painterly texture, uh, I would say go for this one because for most of your of your needs, it's going to be right on. It's fast. It has a variety of uh, of uh, of renders. Um, it can it can help you to simplify textures. It can help you to create uh, brushwork. So it's it's really the the, the all-in-one filter, I would say. Uh, next tool I'm using is a uh, marvelous designer, and uh, marvelous designer is a um, um, fabric simulation and a, and a, a closed design uh, tool. I think it it's been primarily intended for for the fashion industry, but it's been used since two years more and more in uh, in the um, entertainment industry because it really allowed to create. Uh, it's really a design tool. Whatever people would say, it's it's just another way to design. It. Instead of designing by sculpting on on digital clay, you are designing like you would do on mannequin by uh, thinking about your garments and uh, all, um, all all those garments are connected together uh, with uh, with different uh, sewing and and uh, and so on. So it's a it's a really a great tool and uh, just to show you very quickly what it does. Sorry. Here, so basically, what you're doing is um, defining garments, uh, placing them in space, defining the different sewing of, uh, of of the elements when when against each other, and uh, it's it's really design fashion design tool. And when you apply the simulation, you know, it's just going to process the simulation. So it's 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 a it's a great tool. It has nothing to say. Um, the way you will see me use it in this uh, tutorial is mainly to just uh, make a bit of a fabric simulation, and at some point to create a toga. Uh, so you you'll have access to the the full details in there. Um, I'm not going to enter into the details of how to use Marvelous Designer uh, like the other tool. It's kind of the of a of a big software in itself, there is a, a lot, a lot of possibilities and a, a lot of concept to grasp about a closed simulation, fabric simulation, etc. But I can, um, I, okay, here's here's my, the um, a really cool tutorial by Hunter Rosenberg uh, that you can check. It's a it's a really cheap tutorial. You see, it's only three three bucks. And uh, really, it's the fastest and uh, the easy, the easiest way you you can think of to to get your hand into into marvelous designer. It, he will go straight to the point with a very easy to to set up um, scene. And uh, if you want to know more about um, marvelous designer, I I definitely uh, advise you to to, to check this uh, this tool. So that's pretty much it uh, regarding the various um, external tools that you'll see me using in this tutorial. Um, if you can, please definitely definitely check uh, this tutorial. This again, uh, you should have if you if you bought the, the bundle, uh, because uh, this is the one where I'm covering in great detail the, the process of turning uh, turning a CG and a photo bash into a painting.